um, because there are many opportunities within our existing curriculum. So you don't have to take time. Um, and for all, if there are administrators out there, I will say it won't take any additional time. We wanna learn how to embed just like we actually already do with other groups, right? Other, other sort of, we talk about multicultural awareness and multicultural education should not be an isolated day. Um, you just sort of, you infuse a multicultural education throughout your curriculum. So I just put a couple of, um, like here's one th a thematic unit um, on learning about disability rights and ableism. So um, as examples, social studies is actually the perfect place. Uh, we already, it is already part of the curriculum to learn about civil rights movements. Why not infuse right in there the disability rights movement? Children already have to learn how laws are passed. Why not as an example, follow how the Americans with Disabilities Act? Learn timeline, because we do learn timeline. Uh, math, while they're learning about that in math, they learned about the ADA in social studies. In math, they could um, look up ADA requirements for accessibility. Then they could use math concepts, investigate how accessible your own school is or anything. You could interchange that with any, any public building, um, use math concepts, practice math concepts, count the accessible elevators, measure the width, see if it's compliant with ADA, um, go to the bathrooms, measure the sink, the soap dispenser, everything. There's actually guidelines for all of that. And children could have a really meaningful um, activity. And of course, there's numerous things you could do with that data. You could learn to plot the data, bar graph, pie chart, compare and contrast to classrooms, compare and contrast to schools, um, prepare an accessibility report, examine your playground or any facility. In science, you can be studying slopes and ramps, learning about access devices, technology that can be um, like assistive technology that can increase access for everyone at our school. You could really learn about, and sort of this is what I mean about positioning children as agents of change, um, allowing them to ask like, how can we create a more accessible school? Like, is everyone included? What does that mean? What does inclusivity mean? What does it mean to be a community here? Who's not getting access to this playground and why? Um, you know, like we could have so much, so much creativity with designing these kinds of lessons. In language arts, you can read memoirs of activists. You could write a persuasive letter to the principal, to the mayor, to the township with your findings about the playground, about the post office, about the local library and what you found about its accessibility. So you're learning to write, you're learning letter writing skills, um, you're learning presentation skills, you're learning graph skills. And through all of those things that we're already teaching children, you can also infuse a heightened understanding of ableism, accessibility, and what it means to really belong. When all people belong, what does that look like? 